Hi guys, Rochelle here from my vintage farm. Taking some time in my greenhouse today. We're gonna have a talk and uh, I'm kind of excited for it. We're waiting on a pretty important delivery right now and I wanna make sure that our address, even though it's in a few spaces, I want it to be like very, very evident. So I'm gonna put that up. Okay guys, the number's up. The package did arrive. I'm gonna grab my hammer and the water barrel. I gotta kinda like get it over this fence here. Oh, always using the bad wrist. When will you learn? I think I got a little too warm. My coffee's getting cold. delivery for my husband. Oh my lord, you guys, look at all the saints. I cannot wait. I'm about to go unbox these and look at all the glorious things and my coffee. My John the Potter Mocha Monkey coffee is here. Eat up and get cozy. I'm in my greenhouse and I've got one rack of seedlings started so far for this year. And I'm gonna just keep planting away. I've got lots of cleaning and organizing, sterilizing, and uh, yeah, it's always a mess to dive back in. But this is real life, guys. You know, it's just never nothing to do and a lot of times it doesn't seem like it's that messy but anytime you're trying to like clean up dirt weed in between your bricks or pavers whatever your floor is if you have like a paver system like i do in mine um there's always weeds to take care of so um i was hoping to get that done but i had some outside chores to do today and I thought, you know what? I'm gonna at least pop in here and do an unboxing because I got two MI Gardener orders today and I am super, super stoked about them. Um, and my gardener like had an abundance of orders and they were definitely behind. So when I placed my order, they were packing um, seeds from like the 8th or the 9th of December. I, you know, I was like, it's cool. So this one was placed on January 7th and I played, paid for like expedited shipping with this one. Like you could, you could pay an extra $5 now for next day processing. And that probably handles the added, um, employees or staff that they had to hire to help fulfill their orders. So way to go. And my gardener, you guys are awesome. Um, I'm so happy that you guys are doing so well so this one I placed on December 31st and so not like a huge difference between literally like a week but in seed waiting time that seems like forever so today is the 11th and that's pretty quick you guys I my order was processed on the 7th I probably placed it on like the 5th or the 6th or something I don't know I'll look doesn't really matter all I know is I'm satisfied with my delivery speed so thank you um triple crop tomatoes Jess from Roots and Refuge loves that. I've never grown them and that was my first time finding them. So I thought, hey, let's go ahead. I thought I had them before, but either the goats ate them or something happened because I didn't end up growing them. And then Arkansas Travelers, I actually bought those as a gift for a friend of mine who just moved to Arkansas. When I seen those, I thought, oh, it's super cute. I'm gonna have to share those. Uh, broccoli, the Waltham 29 and 
it's time to plant broccoli guys over here in california zone 9b so i'm all about it these are painted pony beans I didn't realize how low my bean stock was as far as my seed inventory went, so I definitely had to order some beans because um, I only had a few, and most of them were like wax beans and storage beans, but not like storage, like dried beans, and I really needed some dried bean selection, so this is the Mayflower pole bean. Super excited about that. Okay, the Calypsos are always my favorite. You know, they're just a really cool bean to grow. Cool beans. <laughs> Purple sprouting broccoli, I love that. Nasturtiums, uh, cannellini, cannellini beans, there. Uh, this is the Mary Washington asparagus, which we'll be planting, and I have some from last year that I ordered. We'll be planting those too. So we will be putting in a row of asparagus that are kind of in this area of the garden that we're transforming. Um, hello there, hello, Pearl, say hi. Say hi, come on, come up here. Say hi, there she is. Okay, Green Globe Artichokes. Um, this is the Jelly Melon Cucumber. So this is really a, a hot commodity for food stands in our area. And um, like the Asian community and um, some of the Middle Eastern community that we have out here that shop our stand, they really enjoy some of the rarer foods like that that you can't just pick up. So I love to carry those. Uh, bitter melon is another one that sells really well. Um, it's a crop that isn't readily grown. Um, you know, so sometimes you can find it, but it's not like you can just run to the supermarket and know that every supermarket in your area is gonna carry it. Um, Canarly yellow eye beans, those are so pretty. Yes. All these seeds are from MI Gardener, guys. This is the Black Russian Sunflower. I was surprised to see that they had some flowers in stock, so Autumn Beauty, Velvet Queen. I love that one. Now I'm doing cut flowers this year, guys, for our stand, so super excited about that and for our CSA. This is the Red Beard. Uh, yeah, red beard bunching onions. So super, super stoked about those. I love bunching onions. So that's why I will, when they are in season, I use them for everything. I also love shallots. Uh, we have a lot of restaurants around here. Some things are, hey, get down, get down. Thank you. She goes and runs in the mud. She, no, no, get down. Good girl. Stay. Um, this is called broom corn. So mixed colored sorghum broom corn. So it's a sorghum family. Now let's go on to my first order here. <laughs> He's a good girl. He's a good girl, huh? Yes. He's a good girl. What do you have? Oh, I don't want that on me. Ugh. Ugh, it's like a mealy worm or something. Okay, get down. Get down. We're good. I love you. I love you guys. Sit down there. Sit down. Sit down. <laughs> She's so cute. She's like, but mom, I want to be on your lap. Okay, this one's going to have more flowers in it. This has got the La France carnation a couple packs of those it's also going to have the Janae Denoise oh, I'm horrible guys I butcher this stuff uh asters this is the violet this is the Grenadian king of black um bells of Ireland another one of those kings of black there this is the pompous plume this is the Cosmo Dwarf Dazzlers. Like, if you guys want to see them, go. I mean, you can see the package, but if you really want to see kind of more of an in-depth picture about them, check out my gardener's website. They've got some uh, pictures on there. Red Spike Amaranth, really, really good for filler flower for your arrangements. This is some of the White Snowflake Snapdragon. Um, I don't remember if I had it. I know I have some Chantillys. I think it's Chantillys. Um, Salopagloss. Salpilgalow. Whatever, you guys. I'm so horrible at that. And I've been having a really hard time with my nervous system the past couple of days. So I feel bad when I can't even like put my brain together to try to read it. This is another one of those butterfly milkweeds. I don't know about it. I really need to research this before I plant it, but I am trying to attract pollinators. Cornucopia gourds. Definitely want to like up my gourd game. Um, lavender, because who doesn't want to grow lavender? I love lavender. 
Caraway. Uh, this is the cone flower, guys. This is the purple cone flower. I think it's in the bee balm family. Let's see. I don't see it actually saying that. So don't take my word on that. I just thought that it was. Or was it? Is it Echinacea? I don't know. So this one here is a Shirley Double Mix Poppy. Super stoked to see how those grow. Anise. This is Russian tarragon, more lavender. Really trying to hit up some perennial crops if I can. That's like where it's at. Plant it, one har plant it once and harvest for a lifetime. This is the bachelor buttons. Super pretty, beautiful white. White really does frame in a, um, like floral arrangements. And I definitely wanted to put those together. So here's some red bachelor buttons. Summer Savory. Our herb garden, I want to be fierce this year. We struggled, it was our first year planting in this location and we struggled with some of our herbs. Our basil did amazing. Our fennel, I'll post a picture of the fennel, our last one, I just went and fed it to the cows. And more lavender. This one's the English lavender. Um, this is called Piccolino basil i have not seen it and i think it really is a tiny plant and i thought that'd be super cute just to sell at their like as plants um this is the hamburg rooted parsley lemon basil more uh in the basil family licorice basil dark opal basil i grabbed a couple of those Sweet marjoram. You guys, I have a huge bag of marjoram. So that was like hilarious when I seen that I had ordered it. So I might go ahead and like just put some gift packages together for people too. Um, chicory. I have some friends that are just getting into to gardening and another person I'm working on a gift package for. Sun gold talls. Look at how beautiful and fluffy those are. They're like a pillow. Absolutely stunning. Got two packs of those. 75 in each pack guys. So that's super cool. That's going to give you 150, give me 150 cuts of everyone germinates and grows and I can harvest it. Italian large leaf basil. I think I grew baby doll basil for my crop last year. <laughs> so abundant. Um, lemon balm. And Italian large leaf basil. Man, I went all out. I bet you some of them I clicked on twice, but it's okay lemon mint there's nothing wrong with having doubles of seeds ever more mary washington and then this is that sherbel curled sherbel i don't know if i've had it like is it known by another name french parsley okay yes i'm like sherbel french parsley okay guys that's it that's my seed order um if you guys got some am i gardener orders this year let me know um what you're excited to be growing, uh, if you're adding anything new to your garden like we are, what changes you're making, any questions you have, any tutorials you'd like me to do or share, and um, what type of content you'd like from us this year as we're doing our grow season. It is kind of hard for me to, uh, I know a lot of my videos have like fast forwards in them. I don't have anybody to follow me with the camera because of my connective tissue disease, it's hard for me to like hold a camera out for long periods of time. I can do it for some, but it's really hard to vlog that style. So a lot of the times I put you guys on a tripod and I sit in front of you guys and I do that or I just keep moving you guys along with me. So let me know what you guys are interested in seeing from our farm and your home. I hope you guys are having a wonderful new year and I look forward to gardening with you all. Um, we're also adding house plants to our farm this year. Super excited to that, to have those because they'll be part of our nursery project. So having some nursery plants available, um, not just plant starts, but actually like established plants and cuttings and, um, yeah, we'll see how it goes. It's always a work in progress here and, um, Sometimes when you're building things like this, it's gonna take years. It's not like one, I mean, Lord, if you allowed me to do everything in one year, I would be so ecstatic and so grateful. And sometimes his provision is enough like that and it happens. But um, farming's expensive 
and seeds are expensive, plants are expensive, materials expensive, um, and there's a lot of labor that goes into it. Adding the cut flowers is going to be a lot of labor. Uh, already, kind of. So we're just going to keep preparing. We've got that glass greenhouse, that, the um, vintage window greenhouse that will be being built and I might have enough to do too. So I'm super stoked about that. I have to go through my windows, get all my measurements done and see, but I'm looking to do like probably like a 12, I think I'm going to do like a 12 by 10 um, setup. That's what my goal is right now. And I chose a 12 by 10 setup because I could rip down, hey, get down please. I could use uh, eight foot lumber to build my trays, you know, my tables to go around because I would like to have some shelves and whatnot. But if I do 12, then I could just use, you know, like four foot wide on one side and then that. And so, yeah, super, super excited for that. Um, and I'll probably just do an L shape for my big table space to work on. And then I'll do one wall of like just nothing but trays. There'll be lots of shelves in there and stuff. Hi, she just wants so much love right now, guys. Hi, Pearl. Hi, my Pearl girl. Say hi. Say hi. Who's a good girl? Who's a good girl? Who's a good girl? Yes. So you're going to brush my hair? She's so cute. Okay, guys. Have a wonderful day. God bless.